The next concept that we're going to cover is the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula is used to find the center point between two given points. So if our points are negative 3, 5 and 7, negative 1, and we're being asked to find the midpoint, our midpoint should sit somewhere right about here. It should be the center point on the line that connects the two points. So let's look at how we find that midpoint. So our midpoint formula tells us to take the x's and add them together and divide by 2. And then take the y's and add them together and divide by 2. It's almost like you're averaging your x values and you're averaging your y values. So if I want to find the midpoint between negative 3, 5 and 7, negative 1, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my two x values together. So remember that the x values come first. So we have a negative 3 and we have a positive 7. And then we're going to divide that by 2. We're next going to add our two y values together. So that's going to be the 5 and the negative 1. Now we'll simplify. So negative 3 plus 7 is going to give me 4 over 2 and 5 plus negative 1 is also going to give me 4 over 2. When we reduce our fractions, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And so our midpoint should be the point 2, 2. So if we go back to our graph, we can see that we were just a little bit off in our guess. Midpoint is going to be the point 2, 2. So 1, 2, and then up 2 puts me right there. It's always a good idea to check by plotting that midpoint and making sure that it actually looks like it's falling in the center between your two given points. Let's look at one additional example for midpoint formula. So we have the points negative 9, 2 and 5, 1. So again, we're going to begin by identifying our two x values, which would be negative 9 and positive 5, and we're going to add those together, dividing by 2. Then we're going to add our y values together. So that's going to be a 2 and a positive 1. So negative 9 plus 5 is going to give me a negative 4 divided by 2. 2 plus 1 is going to give me 3 divided by 2. The first fraction can be simplified. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. The second fraction does not simplify, so we'll leave it as it is. And so our midpoint between those two points should be negative 2 and then positive 3 halves.